let's listen to the story. Hi kids, welcome to Playhouse Channel. Today, I'm going to read you a story. The title is The Empty Pot by Demi. Let's read it together. Wow, look at all the trees and the fruits there. A long time ago in China, there was a boy named Ping who loved flowers. Anything he planted burst into bloom. Up came flowers, brushes, and even big fruit trees, as if by magic. And you know what? Everyone in the kingdom also love flowers. Oh, look at all these gardens. There are red flowers, green trees, and then what else do you see? Oh, there are some. Oh, I see the kids are planting the white flowers too. And they planted them everywhere. And the air. Oh, can you smell it? Let's smell it together. Oh, they smell like perfume. And you know, the emperor loved birds and animals, but flowers most of all. And he tended his own garden every day. You see, he has so many birds, yellow birds, purple birds, red birds, and then, ooh, even there's a peacock. Can you guess what color is the peacock? <gasps> yeah, they have lots and lots of colors, right? Yes! But the emperor was very, very old. He needed to choose a successor to the throne. Hmm, what would he do? Let's find out. Hmm, who would be his successor? And how would the emperor choose? Because the emperor loved flowers so much, he decided to let the flowers choose. The next day, a proclamation was made. All the children in the land were to come to the palace. And there they will be given special flower seeds by the emperor. Whoever can show me their best in a year's time, he said, will succeed me to the throne. Wow, look at all the kids. See, they're very happy to hear the announcement. Oh, what a long line over here, as if they were a snake. Eh? But they were not a snake. They were all the kids around the city. This news created great excitement throughout the land. Children from all over the country swarmed to the palace to get their flower seeds. Everyone wants to join. And all the parents wanted their children to be chosen. And the older children hope they will be chosen too by the emperor. Oh, when Ping received his seed from the emperor, he was the happiest child of all. He was sure he could grow the most beautiful flower. Look, can you spot the smile on his face? Hmm, how about you? What face would you make when you were happy? Would you smile too? Yes! How about we smile together? <laughs> Ping filled a flower pot with rich soil. He planted the seed in it very carefully. He watered it every day. He couldn't wait to see it sprout, grow, and blossom into a beautiful flower. But day after day passed, but nothing grew in his pot. Oh dear, look at how sad he is. And you know what he do? Ping was very worried. He put new soil into a bigger pot. Then he transferred the seed into the rich black soil. He did everything he could to help the seed grow. But another month, Another two months, he waited. Still, nothing happened. Oh dear, look at his pot, it's still empty. And 
by and by the whole year has passed. Oh, okay, what happened? Spring came, and all the children put on their best clothes to greet the emperor. They rushed to the palace with their beautiful flowers eagerly, hoping to be chosen. Oh, but what happened to Ping? Ping was ashamed of his empty pot. He thought the other children would laugh at him because for once he couldn't get a flower to grow. Oh, he was so sad and worried. His pot is still empty. And his clever friend ran by, holding a great big one. Ping! He said, you're not really going to the emperor with an empty pot, are you? Couldn't you grow a great big flower like mine? I've grown lots of flowers better than yours, Ping said. It's just this seed, it won't grow. And let's see what would he do. Oh, Ping's father overheard this and said, You did your best. And your best is good enough to present to the emperor. Hmm. Holding the empty pot in his hands, Ping went straight away to the palace. Hmm. Will you be will you be courage enough, kids, to bring an empty pot to the king, to the emperor? <gasps> oh, look here. The emperor was looking at the flowers slowly one by one. Everyone is bringing beautiful flowers. Red flowers, blue flowers, yellow flowers, green, what else? Orange, all the flowers. And yes indeed, how beautiful all the flowers were. But the emperor was frowning and did not say a word. Hmm. I wonder why the emperor is frowning. Let's find out. Finally, he came to Ping. Ping hung his head in shame, expecting to be punished. The emperor asked him, Why did you bring an empty pot? Oh, look, he was so ashamed. Ping started to cry. <laughs> and replied, I planted the seed you gave me and I water it every day. <laughs> but it didn't sprout. And I put it in a badger pot with better soil, but still it didn't sprout. I tended it all year long, but nothing grew. So today, I had to bring an empty pot without a flower. It was the best that I could do. And you know what happened? When the emperor heard these words, a smile slowly spread over his face. And he put his arm around him. Then he exclaimed, To one and all, I have found him. I have found the one person worthy of being emperor. Oh, that was a shock, right? And where you got your seed from, I do not know. For the seeds I gave you had all been cooked, so it was impossible for any of them to grow. <gasps> oh, oh! Turns out I only pink that that grows the real seed, that planted the real seed. Oh, and you know because Pink was saying the the right thing, so the emperor said, "I admire Pink's great." courage to appear before me with the empty truth and now I reward him with my entire kingdom and make him emperor of all the land and that's the end of the story so kids from Ping we learn that we have to be honest and sometimes it can be challenging right to say the on the truth but you have to use your courage and say the truth yeah you do not like and just like ping the truth will help you okay so that's the end of the story if you like the story don't forget to subscribe like and share bye